We're going to cover the organs briefly on this uh, portion of the video. Uh, I'm going to uh, use the uh, same order of organs that uh, Grandmaster Earl Montague uses in uh, his book, uh, The Encyclopedia of Democ. Uh, notice it's not laid out traditionally, but since that's one of the books that we teach from for this particular course, then uh, I'm going to go in that particular order. So we're going to start with the wood elements, uh, the gallbladder, and the liver. So we're going to start with the gallbladder. Now the gallbladder is a wood element and it's the yang organ of the yin and yang pair. It's paired with the liver, which that would be the yin organ for the pair. And the gallbladder's job is to concentrate and store bile. Uh, now this, this function of concentration and storing bile is helped uh, by the liver because the liver uh, the liver's job is to keep the chi flowing through the body very smoothly. If the chi doesn't flow smoothly, then this function can be impaired, and then you'll have uh, problems. And uh, Western medicine, you know, would uh, probably recommend you have your gallbladder removed. However, having your gallbladder removed is not necessarily detrimental to your uh, life, but it is necessary. Keeping your gallbladder is necessary to maintain a quality of life. There's special diets and all kinds of things you have to go on in order to uh, not have a gallbladder and still maintain a good quality of life. Uh, now those are the physical functions uh, of the gallbladder and that's why a lot of people say, well, you know, you don't need your gallbladder. You do, it's very necessary for a quality of life. Uh, liver is excreted in diluted form, uh, I'm sorry, bile is excreted in diluted form by the uh, liver. And it's only about 10% strength, so the liver has to work overtime uh, to compensate for not having the gallbladder there to concentrate the bile to break down the salts and animal fats and uh, these kinds of things. So when the, with the, the liver has to work overtime, it creates too much heat, and this can lead to other problems. But uh, that's just a general overview of the gallbladder. And now we'll go into some of the energetic functions and the uh, emotional aspects and mental aspects of the gallbladder. Energetically, the gallbladder and the liver are responsible for a lot of the uh, connective tissues uh, of the body. Uh, like, for example, the ligaments and the tendons uh, especially. If there's a ligament or tendon problem, treating the gallbladder can help uh, alleviate the problem. Uh, treating the liver and the gallbladder, treating the wood element pair, uh, can definitely help reduce the problem with the with most any kind of ligament or tendon uh, issue. Now, mentally and emotionally, the gallbladder is responsible for a few different things. Uh, the main thing it's responsible for is judgments, this, you know, decision making, uh, the ability to make a decision. Uh, another thing that it's responsible for is courage and initiative. Now, uh, this is not to be confused with the kidneys' uh, drive and willpower, and we get into that later, but just to give you a little brief summary, the kidneys may be in charge of, well, they are in charge of, uh, drive and determination, but it is the gallbladder's job to put this drive and determination into action. And that's not the same thing. And that's a lot of problems with uh, people who study Chinese medicine or martial science, and they, they do not, they can't discern the difference between, well, this controls this, well, that controls this too. No, it's different. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's different, and you have to understand the, the differences between what it is they're referring to. Very subtle differences can make all the all the difference in the world, and uh, so in this particular incident, when you're talking about courage and and uh, drive and, and, and fortitude, uh, it is the ability to put into action that that drive and that fortitude. Uh, you may feel compelled to do something, 
but it is the job of the gallbladder to actually make you act on that, make you do it. So, uh, in a nutshell, the gallbladder uh, is in charge of judgments and, uh, and initiative. Looking at it from an emotional standpoint, uh, if the gallbladder is weak, you will have uh, problems with the patient, like being very timid, uh, very uh, very low key, uh, very indecisive, uh, definitely lacking uh, decision making capabilities. Uh, on the flip side, if the gallbladder is overly strong, you'll have somebody who's uh, bossy, you know, overly decisive. You know, want to make all the judgment calls themselves, and so you kind of have that old saying, uh, you know, well, he's got a lot of gall, you know, or, or well, he lacks gall, and that's kind of what they're referring to is this energetic pattern, this this gallbladder controlling uh, how much uh, you are being decisive about whatever it is you're coming into contact with. You know, do you make a decision on it, or do you just uh, shy away from it, or or it's even to the point of lacking the capability of making a decision. Uh, I've seen people with such a weak gallbladder before that they couldn't even make a decision. It wasn't a fact of, of, of trying to make a decision. They could not concentrate enough to make a decision one way or the other. And just as a side note on the gallbladder, the gallbladder also is associated with sleep uh, and sleeping patterns. Uh, people who have a deficient gallbladder will uh, tend to wake up very early in the morning, you know, around uh, like 1 to 3 a.m., something to that effect, and be unable to go back to sleep. They, they went to bed okay. You see, this brings up insomnia as one of these uh, interesting uh, diseases, if you want to call it a disease, uh, because there's so many different types of insomnia, and Chinese medicine uh, has documented all of them, and each one is linked to a different organ. So if you have uh, this particular type of insomnia, it would be linked to a gallbladder problem, where you don't have a problem going to sleep, but uh, for whatever reason you seem to wake up uh, in the middle of the night, you know, uh, one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, and you can't go back to sleep again. This is a deficiency in the gallbladder, and not to be confused with other organ function problems that cause insomnia.